for most people, to-do lists create a whole lot of stress. They're supposed to make things easier to really uh, get you through tasks, but the trouble is people don't get through them. In fact, they what most to-do lists do is motivate you to fail. And what I'm going to show you here is how to flip that around. I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the Meh to Yeah podcast. And what we're uh, doing here, this is our nugget show. And what I'm showing you in just a few minutes is a simple tool that's just, that'll help you get out of the meh of everyday life and really transform it to yeah, where you're actually feeling like you're moving somewhere. So on this, uh, with this tool, let, let me ask you something. If you um, would set a goal, okay, let's say you want to go up a flight of stairs, okay? Let's say I'm going to go up this flight of stairs. You put that on a to-do list. I'm going to go. And we make pictures in a mind's eye. Where on the stairs are you in that, uh, in that picture? Are you at the bottom? the middle or the top. If you say your goal, I'm going to do this. Um, what generally happens is for most people, 90% of people, they're at the bottom of the stairs. Some of them have started up, but they're not at the top. So the picture that you make in your mind's eye is not having completed the task. So what you're actually doing is programming yourself to fail. Your brain works in pictures, not in words. Words are just the surface level that just allow you to create the right pictures in your head. So if I was to ask you, for example, how many chairs are in your house? How do you get the answer? you walk through in your mind's eye and you count, okay? You work with pictures. So if you set a goal of I'm going to go up the flight of stairs, what you do is you see yourself at the bottom of the stairs and it's actually demotivating. Now, the twist to this is uh, something one of my coaching clients took, a tool that I use in a lot of contexts and he applied it to do, to do lists in an amazing way is when I work with clients to set goals, we don't say we're going to do because what that does is create a picture of not having completed the goal. So you create a picture of not having completed it, which, which actually programs you to fail. I get people to state the goal as if it's already done. So if you want to have so much money by the end of the year, just say it is now December 31st, whatever year, and I have X dollars in this account, not that I'm going to have, so that you create it as if it's already done. You create the picture of it complete and you, and you can sort of feel how good, imagine how good that would feel. So what this client of mine did, he says, instead of a to-do list, he creates a to-done list. You write out the things on your to-do list as if they're already done. So instead of saying, oh, I have to do that report, he writes it as, I have finished this report and it's getting great reviews, blah, 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 blah. You know, so he writes it as if it's already done. He sees the complete report. That's the picture that goes into his unconscious mind. That's what your unconscious thinks is reality. And so it, your, your unconscious wants to be consistent with those pictures. So it does everything it can to support you in getting there. If, if you've got on your to-do list that you've got to clear your office, you don't say, I have to clean the office, you clean up the office or pick up around me. You, you write, I have cleaned up the office and everything is put away exactly where it needs to be. The picture that's created in your mind's eye is that you feel a lot better. And what this person found, what everyone in his office once he talked to them about found and what everyone I've worked on this with has, has found since is that by writing a to done list instead of a to do list, they actually sail through the list a lot, lot faster. And it's a lot easier and they feel good about it. It's not a cause of stress because a to do list creates stress because it magnifies everything you haven't done. Uh, to done list makes you feel good about everything that's completed and you want to get there. It's a feeling you want to have. So that's the second hack on to do lists uh, and how to flip them around to actually make them work for you. You can access this show. We do it on Facebook Live every week on YouTube, on, on my channel. You can get it as the podcast um, through my blog and also through iTunes and Google Play and Stitcher and so on. We do this show 
mid to late week, the Nugget Show with a tool. Every uh, Monday, we do a profile show where we'll do a three minute highlight on Facebook Live and YouTube of an interview with someone who's done amazing things with their lives. And we try to dissect what enabled them to do that so we can learn. The full version of those interviews, the 30 minute interviews are available through the podcast. You can sign up for that. Just go to ravitangri.com, R-A-V-I-T-A-N-G-R-I.com, scroll down a little and all the links are there for iTunes, Google Play, the blog, everything. We will see you Monday with an incredible uh, interview with uh, Leanne Matheson, who has done incredible, incredible things to transform her life. And we'll dig into what enabled her to do that. So we will see you on Monday. Have yourselves a great weekend. Bye-bye.